Hi, this is Paul Knopfler at UC Davis School of Medicine. I've been a professor here for almost 15 years. My lab does work on stem cells and cancer. At the same time, I've been studying uh, the different products that are out there and injections and things like that that are being sold by different stem cell clinics and other kinds of firms out there. Kind of doing a fact check on these different things, uh, posting on my blog, uh, The Niche, so today's segment is actually on what seems to be a fairly hot topic, and that is what's called stem cell supplements. So the claims related to these are that taking a pill or drinking uh, some kind of uh, liquid solution uh, will in some way help your stem cells and by extension, help your overall health. So the bottom line kind of question is, do stem cell supplements work to help you be healthier, to do something with your stem cells and the simple answer is basically no, unfortunately, uh, not at this time. They do, however, work really well to make people a lot of money, like take your money away. So that's really unfortunate. So let's go through this um, and kind of break it down in terms of what's going on in this area. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen uh, so that we can uh, look through a recent post I did on stem cell supplements uh, together. All right, so hopefully, this is popped up here. So again, this is my site, The Niche. It has a blog, but also has many other resources for people out there trying to learn more about stem cells. And here's a recent post I did, Do Stem Cell Supplements Work? So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through this. So um, just for some background, I'm a cancer survivor myself. I've um, been, out, I'm out now like about 11 years from my cancer diagnosis and cancer surgery. So especially right after I got that diagnosis, supplements are really on my mind. Vitamin D, for instance, there was some literature suggesting that it could in some way be helpful for prostate cancer patients. I'm not so convinced about that anymore and I only occasionally take vitamin D. But um, it's been interesting to see within the sort of stem cell arena, just uh, the huge number of supposed stem cell supplements that have come out there so if you do a Google search, you're gonna see just potentially dozens of these supplements um, that are out there alongside, you know, just regular vitamin supplements, other things. One of the distinguishing things about these stem cell supplements is just how incredibly expensive they often are. So, you know, you might feel like you're spending a lot on vitamin C or D or a multivitamin, but these stem cell supplements are probably like five to 10 times as expensive as just your sort of typical, uh, regular old vitamins and other kinds of supplements. So one of the things these stem cell supplements are claiming is that they have sort of these anti-inflammatory or anti-aging kind of properties. Uh, that's pretty much a bunk. Uh, there's not much out there to support uh, any kind of claims like that. Uh, some of the other things that are being claimed out there in these different advertisements and marketing that we're seeing, some of this is really clever um, in terms of how they're getting word out. Um, is that the supplements actually contain stem cells themselves, like living cells, which just doesn't seem possible to me as a stem cell biologist. These are like pills, you know, dry things. Cells are very fragile. They, they need certain uh, conditions to actually be alive. So typically your, your run of the mill stem cell supplement, no, it doesn't actually have living stem cells in there. So these supplements range from just synthetic, you know, chemicals and vitamins to bone marrow extracts, we're seeing a lot of uh, supposed stem cell supplements from plants now too, like rose stem cell supplements, or another one that's really common now is apple stem cell supplements. I don't quite know what they mean by that. Plants do have stem cells in them. Uh, I do wonder if some of these plant stem cell products, creams that people are supposed to put on their faces are actually um, made from the stem of the plant, not so much stem cells. One of the most popular stem cell supplements I've seen, or at least it's out there a lot, something called Stemkine. I've kind of gone through this. There are a couple papers published on it. I really don't see any reason why this particular supplement, you know, there's really no evidence I've seen that con has convinced me that it does anything useful. Um, some of the different supplements out there claim that they quote unquote mobilize your stem cells. So, you know, we do have stem cells living in our bodies. They live in probably most of our tissues. Uh, the richest place for stem cells is probably our bone marrow. It's not entirely clear that we really want to mobilize our stem cells from our bone marrow, for instance. 
they're supposed to be in the bone marrow. They're just there as needed as we get sick or we need to you know, replenish our stem cells. Getting a bunch of them out into our bloodstream on a routine basis, assuming a, a supplement even could do that, which you know, it's unclear uh, if that's really the case. You, you sometimes see powerful drugs being used to mobilize stem cells, but those have been proven to get the stem cells out of the bone marrow. But just taking a supplement, eh, would that really mobilize your stem cells? Unclear. And even if it could, is that such a good idea? We, we don't really know. Uh, Regenex uh, has stem cell clinics, but it also has a line of supplements um, that's supposed to be a proprietary blend of vitamins, herbs, things like that. I really don't see how this would be useful for one's stem cells necessarily. Um, doesn't necessarily make sense to me. So um, those are some of the things I've kind of gone through in this post. Just kind of thinking logically, um, you know, any kind of supplement, generally you're going to take it as a pill or drink it. Um, some of these are liquids that are just like insanely expensive. It's like a hundred dollar milkshake, basically. Um, you know, your body's going to digest whatever is in there in the way, if there are any like proteins or anything like that, they're, um, they're going to be digested down into amino acids, things like that. You know, are those really sort of talking to or being useful to your stem cells? Probably not. Other kinds of you know, vitamins, things like that, you know, how, how would we know if they really help stem cells? There haven't been good clinical trials on that that I know of. Um, you know, I, again, I kind of think of these things as just really expensive vitamins or really expensive milkshakes or things like that. Um, so uh, again, big picture take home on stem cell supplements, it's a waste of your money. Uh, even if they do something, you know, if they're active in your body, we don't really know, is that useful? Is that actually, you know, could that be harmful? So um, I don't think these are necessarily a great idea. Uh, you know, you save your money, use it for something else um, that you enjoy more, or buy yourself some chocolate or something. Um, I did do a post uh, a few years back on what I was sort of calling natural stem cell boosts. Um, and I've kind of amended this saying, do your homework. So I just wanted to briefly end this video by kind of going through things that actually make sense. There's actually data out there. So rather than popping a, you know, $10 supposed stem cell supplement pill or something like that. Uh, you know, I think exercise has really been proven to actually increase our numbers of stem cells. It may not be a very long lasting kind of thing after one, you know, session of exercising, but you know, if you exercise routinely, that's, that could be helpful to your health via an actual stem cell mechanism. Caloric restriction and fasting, um, there is some evidence that actually sort of talks to or you know, can have an impact on the number of stem cells you have. Not so sure about Tai Chi, but it's just something interesting I found out there. Sleep definitely has impact, I think, on our overall health, right? But um, could also impact our stem cells. We certainly don't want a ton of radiation exposure in our lifetime. Um, stem cells are sensitive uh, to radiation as well. So these are kind, the kinds of things, like logical sort of common sense health things could um, you know, be helpful to our stem cell populations in the long run. I'm not a physician, so I'm not giving you guys medical advice, but I'm just trying to give you an overall sense of like what kinds of things might make sense to think about. Uh, I think stem cell supplements really make no sense. So uh, I wouldn't recommend using them, waste of money, uh, spend it again on something else. So again, this is Paul Knopfler, uh, professor at UC Davis School of Medicine. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.